All right, guys, we are gonna pull an audible today. This is not the video I plan on making or even the way I wanted to make this video, but the guitar I have here, I'm actually sending back. It's one I bought. Uh, it has all kinds of issues with it, so it is unfortunately gonna be going back. I wanted to make a riff video for you today, but we're rolling with this one. So, if you would though, real quick, this video is not sponsored by anyone other than myself. My new guitar course, The Art of the Riff, is available one more day at 50% off. So if you would, check that link down below in the description if you want to support the channel. And also, we're going to be doing a free live riff and songwriting clinic tomorrow on Sunday. So check that out if you would in the course. That really does help a bunch. Now, what we have in here, the video I've wanted to make for a long time is about the lawsuit era guitars from the 70s. Now, this is my uh, 1979 Gibson Les Paul Standard KM. So it's kind of you know an, an oddball in the realm of, of 70s Les Pauls. It is a two-piece maple top. You have a one-piece mahogany back, three-piece maple neck with your volute, big old shovel headstock, rosewood fingerboard. If you don't know what the lawsuit era guitars are, that is back in the 70s. That's when all these lawsuits first started because Back in maybe like 74, 75, a lot of Japanese manufacturers started making straight up copies of Fender, Martin, and Gibson. So that's where you're getting your Ibanez lawsuit era, your Grecos, your Bernies. There's all these guitars that came out back then. And I've wanted to do a video on this forever. And I finally got one. This is the third attempt at getting one of these that I did. And I finally got one. How unfortunately, Oh, I just think I just hit the camera. Unfortunately, the guitar only half works. The neck pickup does not work. The pots are all messed up. And uh, that's just not how it was listed on Reverb. I did ask the, the seller, I was like, you know, if, if you'll refund a little bit of the money, like 100 bucks or something like that, I'll keep the guitar. I wanted the guitar, but they said they couldn't do it. So it just kind of is what it is. And I'm just going to take that as a sign that I'm not meant to make the full, full video like I planned. This is a 1977 Ibanez Super Standard. Now, 77 is crucial for a couple of reasons. In 77, late 76, I'm not sure the exact date, Gibson sued, not directly so much Ibanez, but the US distributor of Ibanez guitars about the guitars, because it was just a straight up clone. <laughs> you know, the headstock was the open book headstock that Gibson has, all these different things. Anyways, Ibanez and Gibson ended up settling, and Ibanez, of course, changed their headstock. So if you look at some of these old 70s Ibanez Les Paul copies, if you go back to like 76, 75, you are going to get an open book, just like a Gibson headstock, super similar. Made, these are made in very similar ways as well. So on this one, you have a two-piece or a pancake body of mahogany, maple cap, three-piece maple neck, Nova Lute, a little bit different, and something that's really funky about these, look at this. It's a bolt-on. You got a bolt-on, so it's like this, it's a set bolt neck. So it's a, it's a little bit different. You do, of course, have like the plastic trapezoid, not the, the real nice mother pearl inlays like what, what Gibson was using. So there were some kind of corners cut. This one is way lighter than my actual Gibson. The body's a little bit thinner. The binding is way thinner on these, uh, and it does come with the Marzio pickups. And, and these funky bridges, I mean, I, the, the bridge is one of the things that like stood out to me that I, th I thought was really cool. And um, just a fascinating guitar. Now, I was originally wanted to compare these two to each other, but like I said, this one, the neck pickup is just not working on it. And um, it would only be bridge pickups. So I, I will compare the bridge pickups a little bit, but I will say this, because I've always heard that, you know, a lot of these, you know, lawsuit era guitars are better than the Gibsons. And to be fair, I happen to be lucky and have a very good example of a 70s Gibson and a not so good <laughs> version of the lawsuit era guitars. The neck on this one, I mean, the neck profiles are different for sure. They are flatter, but this guitar feels very different. It does have its own vibe. 
and it has a cool cool factor to it for sure but um you know it 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 just feels very different you know I, I i will say i see why these have not shot up in value like other vintage guitars have you know i, I think that they're cool i think they have their own thing going on i'm sure that there were great ones in you know the midst of all the kind of like eh ones but overall uh it's really resonant really cool the bridge is jacked up on this one in particular the intonation's all all wonky so it needs a full setup like i said i wanted to send it to um i, I was gonna do a whole video series on sending it to sweetwater we we're gonna have it plecked we were gonna change the pots on it the pickup selector get it i mean just get this thing like fine-tuned but you know it is what it is so we're not going to be doing that but let's get to comparing these two for just a second and um, I'm sure I'll add some clips early on if you want to hear the guitar but here we go into the Axe Fex Deluxe Reverb and uh, you'll let's get it. And I think that's gonna be it, no? Overall, super cool guitar. If you can find one for the right price, I would say get it, you know, it has its own vibe. Maybe this is like a good like gigging guitar and the, you know, you leave the, the Gibby at home or something like that, but gigging Gibby. So anyways, um, overall, kind of bummed that I had to send the guitar back because I would have liked to have seen it kind of in its like peak performance, but it is what it is. And uh, both the seller and reverb, super, super easy to work with as soon as I said that there were issues with it. He's like, oh, dude, you know, just return it. So uh, other than that, I'm going to bounce on out of here, guys. If you would, check out my new guitar course while it's on sale. Tune into the live clinic tomorrow. It's free for everyone. And I'm going to end it bluesy, 77 lawsuit, Ibanez style. <laughs> I'm like, what was I going to say?